Today I want to do a brief explainer on what's happening in Ukraine, because in a sentence I'm not used to saying on this channel, things are quite a bit simpler than everyone's making them out to be. Hey, gotta find a way to make this catastrophe last an entire news cycle. So let's get into it. First, Ukraine's broken up into a bunch of states, or as they call them, oblasts. Cool name. Back in 2014, aided by a bunch of Russian proxy forces, two of those Ukrainian oblasts declared, we out. Were they out? No. You see, Russia was supporting this Ukrainian oblast rebellion on the DL, and nobody ever recognized them as dependent. So they just kind of hung out like a kid at the party who told everyone to go screw themselves and then couldn't get a ride home. Their voting rights in Ukrainian elections were removed, and they just kind of remained an awkward point on the Ukrainian map. Alright, that is definitely our land and our territory, but we're going to have to fight an ongoing war to actually control it again. Now enter this morning. Putin came out and said, you know, those two rebelling territories, turns out, I think they're independent. I mean, it took me eight years to come to this conclusion, but now, well, it feels like the perfect time to make such a radical proclamation. Now, of course, the West is taking the other side and saying, no, 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 we recognize those two states as definitely a part of Ukraine. Who's right? Well, that comes down to who has the biggest guns and a willingness to use them. Speaking of which, soon after recognizing those two states as independent, Russia moved what they're calling peacekeeping forces into those two states. Now this has really made things awkward because people in the West aren't sure whether to call this an invasion or not. I mean, I'm personally looking at my own map and huh, there's the Ukrainian border right there and oh, Russian troops, well they're on the wrong side of it. I don't know what else we can call this, but it's not looking great. But still, Putin and others would emphasize a different set of events. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered troops into the breakaway Luhansk and Donetsk region on Friday night, following his decision earlier in the day to recognize those two regions as independent republics and no longer part of Ukraine. So now to the final part of this episode. Does any of this matter? I mean, this entire video sort of feels like reading a Snapple cap fact in the middle of a nuclear explosion. Hey, would you look at this? Turns out that from their perspective, we're an independent state, so all of this bombing and invasion, a-okay. Thanks for explaining the invader's rationale, Stephen. Now, the reason that I think this explanation matters is... Well, the West's actions seem surprisingly blasé without that context. Right now, we're really treating this as an invasion with a huge asterisk. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said in a statement that the United States would prohibit investments in the separatist republic and that further sanctions would be coming that were separate from the massive package promised if Russia invades. So don't invade invade and you won't get the massive package of sanctions. So that's the Russian invasion of Ukraine in a nutshell, or not invasion, but probably invasion. Sorry I don't look great right now, but I was not intending on filming tonight. Somewhere between trying to figure out what the heck was going on for myself by unpacking these hours of terrible and confusing news coverage, well I thought, gee, someone needs to just sort of take a step back and tell a clear, simple story of what the heck is going on. What if all of these hours of b-roll of Russian tanks and random facts about how many troops are moving where? So there you have it. Sorry if the writing wasn't great, this episode was definitely rushed. As always, thank you and hopefully this is all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons over here for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, which alright, that's generous in this case, join the growing list of exceptional individuals over here by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.